Hello and welcome to episode 8 of Dear Princess Celestia, the show where I take an episode and analyze its moral. Today's episode, Bats. Dear Princess Celestia, I've talked about the Bats episode before, but instead of just talking about that one moral, I'm going to hash this out DPC style. As we learned, it's important not to let peer pressure influence your decisions negatively. But before you go judging Fluttershy, put yourself in her hoofs. Taking away what made the Vampire Bats Vampire Bats was against what she knew was right. However, a lot was at stake if she didn't. These bats threatened to put Applejack out of business, and who knows how much the economy of Ponyville depends on that orchard. And it's not like there are many other solutions. Fluttershy even tried negotiating with the bats, only to come to the conclusion that the bats were too stubborn. She really had a huge decision to make. The sad thing is Fluttershy would have stuck to her guns if it weren't for how the other five pressured her into siding with them. The disaster that ensued Twilight Spell wasn't all Fluttershy's fault. Not in the slightest. I'd say the guilt falls on the other five. In the same way that you shouldn't give in to negative peer pressure, you shouldn't be the negative peer pressure either. Twilight and the others should have noticed how uncomfortable Fluttershy was, and not have manipulated her to do what she considered to be wrong. This was a hard decision, and circling around her chanting, Stop the Bats, wasn't helping anything. Now let's focus on this from the Bats' perspective. Was changing the way the Bats function ethically right? This brings up the controversial topic of genetically modified organisms, GMOs. Science has found a way to change the genes of produce to better fit our needs. For example, lots of corn grown in the United States has been modified to resist weed-killing chemicals. While this makes farming easier and cheaper, many claim that genetically modified corn has a lower nutritional value and higher levels of toxins. Many people think that GMOs are responsible for our increasing allergy rates, obesity, and even cancer. Now these changes definitely help us in our current problems, but the long-term consequences might not be in our favor. This is just like how modifying the bats solved the short-term problem of infestation, but in return caused a bigger problem that was just harder to deal with. To me, it seems like maybe the writers of this episode were warning us against the negative effects of GMOs, but whether this is intentional or not is up for you to decide. Some would say, don't mess with nature or nature will mess with you, but I wouldn't take that approach. I believe that the technology of genetic modification can be improved through research and lab experimentation. I would just say, be careful changing nature. This moral doesn't really apply to everyday life, but we can pull another good moral out of the whole GMO rant. Don't use short-sighted solutions. Be sure to put in there that I came to see that my short-term solution was a little short-sighted. Sound familiar? Myopic solutions that end up causing more problems in the future aren't really worth it. What do you guys think about these morals, and which episode should I analyze next? Leave your thoughts in the comments. The most common episode request for Dear Princess Celestia is Testing Testing 1, 2, 3, but I've actually already done that. Well, sort of. The video was about the moral of that episode, but it was posted before I started Dear Princess Celestia. And of all the morals in MLP, Testing 1, 2, 3 is probably one of the best. So check out the video via the link on the screen or in the description. This is the Brony Notion, signing out until next Wednesday. Brohoof.